it's hot. So it's about two o'clock. Um, and I got the irrigation system going. Um, what I'm doing is I'm actually using evaporation in the cold water to cool off the turf, uh, slow down the use of carbohydrates. Uh, this is preventing heat stress because right now it's about 93 degrees and this is when you get heat stress, anything above 80 can cause your heat stress. Um, that number can change with different grass types and we know that I have a ton of fine fescue here. So, um, haven't mowed it yet. I will probably put a mower to it Sunday night. The goal to, to this is not that getting that deep and infrequent watering down. Uh, I still do that in the morning every other day. Uh, the irrigation system turns on about 5 a.m. And uh, with the hose in the back, I try to get to it when I can get to it. Um, over the weekend, I can really focus on hammering that in and, and watering it. But uh, you know, within the irrigation zone, I'm, I'm still watering that deep and infrequently. Uh, Monday's rainstorm actually made a big difference. I've actually seen quite a few lawns in the area bounce back and wake back up, uh, which could be good and bad. Um, you don't, if it's not gonna get any more additional water, uh, waking them up and putting them to sleep constantly uh, is kind of stressful on the lawn too. So if you are gonna wake it up, um, doing this will keep it cool stay cool enjoy your lawn even it has a little heat stress take care